This video will cover the topic, Introduction to the GCF of Two Monomials. What does GCF stand for? GCF stands for Greatest Common Factor. A factor is a number or quantity that when multiplied by another number or quantity produces a given number or expression. The greatest common factor of two or more integers is the integer of largest value which both of the original integers are divisible by, leaving no remainder. First, let's practice finding factors of some numbers. For example, we can determine all the factors of 12 by writing down pairs of numbers that multiply to equal 12. So, what numbers multiply to 12? Well, 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 3 times 4 equals 12. Good. So, the integer factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, let's find all the factors of 9. Okay, so 1 times 9 equals 9, and 3 times 3 equals 9. That's right. So, our factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. Now that we know the integer factors of 9 and 12, we can find their greatest common factors. What factors do 9 and 12 have in common? Well, I see that 1 and 3 are both factors of 9 and 12. Right. And since 3 is larger than 1, the greatest common factor of 12 and 9 is 3. Now, what if we were asked to find the greatest common factor of 12c and 9c raised to the third power? I'm not sure. How do we find the GCF of variables? Recall the rules of exponents. c equals c, and c to the third equals c times c times c. These two variables only have one c in common, so the GCF of c and c to the third power is c. So the GCF of 12C and 9C to the third is 3C? Exactly. Combine both factoring steps to result in our final answer. Okay, let me go through the process of finding a GCF of two monomials one more time. We start by isolating the integers from the variables, then find all the factors of both integers. Next, we determine which factors both integers have in common, and choose the greatest of the common factors. After that, we isolate the variables and use the rules of exponents to determine the greatest power of the variables in common. Lastly, we combine these two values to result in our final answer. That's right. 